All right, Aaron Parker, Parker Safes and Vaults. Uh, today, unfortunately, we are in front of a Grafunder vault door that we recently installed, but has to be opened professionally. So in order to do that, uh, you need a professional safe cracker. And so I called my buddy Mark. Uh, Mark Henley is probably one of six people in the country that could open this door. A uh, very tough door to get into. It's got ball bearings and a really thick hard plate. Uh, a lot of features that keep even a professional guy like Mark out, but uh, Mark's able to do it. Uh, it's not something to be taken lightly. It's uh, to, to actually drill it uh, is a last resort. We tried all kinds of other methods to uh, uh, get the electronic lock to work, but couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. Eventually learned that it was just moisture and a lot of moisture that uh, shorted out the uh, lock. But what you're looking at here is uh, Mark looking into a scope and you're looking down in the hole that he sees. Uh, so we'd scope a little bit, uh, drill a little bit, scope a little bit, change bits, break bits. It's a big, long process, probably about six hours, but he was able to get in, and he talks about it a little bit here at the end. Um, so you'll, you'll hear what his take is on a Grafunder here in a second. It was moisture buildup where the vault was built, uh, concreted in room, sealed door, and no air vent. Yeah, you turn the handle. The no air vent installed. No uh, way for it to breathe. So over uh, a yeah, small can see amount of time, moisture for the night and day built up really quick with no air circulation inside. Uh, tried to defeat it a few different times with a few different methods and ended up having to drill the lock. So drill to the front of the door into the electronic lock and defeated the motor and solenoid actuator. Got that defeated and was able to turn the handle and get it open. Mm -hmm. Very tough drill. Grafunders, uh, I'm very impressed with Grafunders door, hard plate. They had uh, stainless steel ball bearings mounted inside the door. Went through two of those um, and some good carbide matrix hard plate. Uh, I believe it was almost two inches of solid hard plate mounting plate into the lock body. Um, went through a couple strong arm bits, a couple end mill ball buster bits, and uh, finally got to the lock. With just one hole? Just one hole, one quarter inch hole. Well, good work, man. We'll open this thing up and uh, change the lock out and get this customer back in service here. Impressive vault door. So we're looking at the inside of the vault door now, and you can see how much moisture got in here. And the moisture was caused by condensation and then the concrete curing um, without adequate vent ventilation, but that caused the electronics to fail. You might be wondering what happens now with this vault door. It'll get oiled down, everything will be fine. Mark will fill that hole with uh, material that's actually going to be stronger than the original steel was in the first place and uh, so everything will be fine. That will also be hidden behind the uh, faceplate of the lock, so you never even see it. And that's the advantage of calling a professional safe cracker in rather than a locksmith or something like that who's going to try to do exploratory surgery and figure it out. But So thank you, Mark Henley, for uh, addressing this problem for us and uh, getting it fixed up. And uh, thanks, everybody, for having a look. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box.